The unique feature of rice production is that the crop fields are flooded for a substantial time over the growing season. There's no other crop that grows under these kind of conditions. And that has some implications. Uh, the water cover, cover cuts off the oxygen supply to the soil. So in every other crop you would have a decay of organic material that would lead to, to carbon dioxide and you can say this is part of the cycle because carbon dioxide is then taken up by the plant again and, uh, and, it's gone and that's the, the, so the cycle is closed. If we have no oxygen, then methane is produced, which is another final product of the, of, of the decay and that we call it anaerobic decay, so without, without oxygen. And methane is a very powerful greenhouse gas. In fact, it's 20 times, 21 times more powerful than, than carbon dioxide. So this methane that is reaching the atmosphere is contributing to, to, to global warming. Well, this is an experiment here where my colleague Jas Horsten is testing different water management. So water management is a very important factor. Basically meaning the moment a, a rice field is flooded, permanently flooded, then the emissions are high. The moment a rice field is drained, and that is something which will occur, especially in the future, more and more often because there's sc more scarcity of water, we are expecting more competition for water, then the emissions will, will go down, the em em methane emissions. That's the point. For a regular wheat field, we have uh, cycling like that. Yeah. And uh, as uh, Dr. Wassmann mentioned, some other uh, equipment and, and, and uh, the, uh, the dummy, mm. uh, the concentration of target gases. Mm. Rice is, although it looks very uniform, rice fields. But if you come a bit, if you look a bit closer, you will see that there are very different systems. There are very different soils. There are very also different management techniques. So. Our message is that we have to be very specific where and when we want to reduce methane emission. And then very targeted approaches to reduce it. Not as a blanket strategy, not just saying, okay, just, flat, just, just, just uh, drain it uh, and then, then, then reduce, reducing the emissions, I think then you can actually do more harm than good. So we think that, that one would have always to, to know exactly or to, to define exactly what is the region, which is the system where, where we want to reduce it. Well, it's true that uh, methane from uh, agricultural uh, production uh, contributes 20% uh, uh, of the uh, uh, global greenhouse gas emissions uh, and uh, efforts must be made to reduce this contribution. Uh, it must not divert attention from the bigger culprit, which is uh, uh, carbon dioxide emissions from the use of fossil fuels, where drastic cuts are uh, possible and solutions like renewable energy and energy efficiency are readily available.